problem 8.45, we've got an ornament hanging off of a wire, and a missile of some sort approaches it with the given speed and uh, embeds in it. And what we want to find is what is the tension in this wire immediately after this impact occurs. So this is going to combine what we know about momentum with what we know about circular motion because the ornament <clears throat> is going to start moving along a circular arc. And so there has to be some centripetal acceleration on the ornament that comes through the tension in the wire. So before getting to that, we need to know how fast it's going because we're going to use that the centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. So we would like to know what V is. And we'll call the speed of the bullet or uh, missile. Let's call it bullet so we don't have too many M's. VB, and then we'll call the speed of both combined after the impact just, just V. M-O for ornament, V. <clears throat> so we find that the speed of the ornament and missile together immediately after the impact is going to be the ratio of the mass of the bullet to the total mass. Times the initial speed of the bullet. Uh, this is 4.5 meters per second. Now, if we consider um, a free body diagram for, for the ornament, we're going to have the tension in the wire acting upwards and the weight of the ornament acting downwards. <clears throat> and so the sum of the vertical forces we call say the tension is directed in the positive y direction is going to be the tension and since we have both the ornament and the bullet moving together both of their masses contribute to the wave And so this forms the centripetal acceleration. There's some it's the centripetal force is T minus W here. And yeah, excuse me, because we need the mass of the bullet and ornament to make a force instead of instead of just an acceleration. Now 
And then R, of course, is just the length of the wire that the ornament is suspended from. And so the tension in the wire is going to be the mass of both ornament and bullet. And I've done that again. I start writing B instead of MB. We have our V squared over R, which is a centripetal acceleration plus the acceleration due to gravity. And then putting all of these numbers in, we find that our tension is 186 newtons.